Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a chicken cassoulet from the unofficial Dollywood cookbook. The ingredients I'll be using for today's dish are some pre-cooked chicken. This is just the breast and thigh meat that I had left over from a chicken I roasted yesterday. Smoked sausage, white onion that I've diced, and some diced celery. I've got some sliced carrots, cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half, four cloves of minced garlic, six slices of bacon, thick cut bacon, I'm sorry, that I've cut into like lardons. You'll also need some spicy mustard, salt, pepper, and rosemary. Now the recipe does call for fresh rosemary. I couldn't find any and all I had here at the house was ground so I've substituted that in with a fourth of a teaspoon of ground rosemary and then three bay leaves. You also need about a cup of chicken stock and two cans of canna lily beans that have been drained but not rinsed. Those are all our ingredients, so let's go ahead and get moved over to the stove and we can start bringing the cassoulet together. Here at the stove, I've gone ahead and added my bacon lardons into my Dutch oven. I've got it on about a medium heat and I'm just looking for the bacon to start rendering out a little bit. We're going to be using that to saute up the vegetables, so I'm not really looking for it to brown at this point. After about three minutes, my bacon has already started rendering out some of the fat. So I'm going to add in my garlic and the onions and celery. These are just going to saute for about four minutes. I'm not really looking for them to lose their texture, just to soften up a little bit. And they will continue to cook down a little bit later once we get the remainder of the ingredients in. After about four minutes, the onions have started to soften up, as has the celery. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the sausage and the chicken, the salt, pepper, and rosemary, the carrots and the tomatoes, the two cans of beans. I'll also add in two teaspoons of the spicy mustard and a cup of chicken stock. Last thing I need to do is add in my three bay leaves. And now this will get covered and it's going to simmer for about 30 minutes on a low heat. After about 30 minutes, this is how the cassoulet should look. You'll want to go ahead and remove the bay leaves at this time. And if you've used fresh rosemary, you'll want to remove that sprig as well. I'm going to let this sit here for about 10 minutes and then I'll get it served up. And I'll try out a bowl of it and see what I think about it. The cassoulet smells absolutely incredible. It does look very hearty. And I'm very excited to dive in here and try it out. I want to try and get a little bit of everything. Maybe even one of those little sausages there. Still very hot. My overall thoughts on this dish is it is not a bad dish. It is a little unbalanced though. There is way too much bay leaf going on in here. I think you could definitely back this down to about one bay leaf and it would be totally fine. The rosemary is fine. I don't see any need for adjustment on that. The only other thing I think I would really change is the size of the sausage. I've cut it exactly the way they asked me to in the book. And I think definitely if I make it again, I'm going to cube it up just to make it a little bit easier to manage trying to get it onto a spoonful. But that's just a minor nitpick. And, you know, again, overall, it's a really good dish. It'll definitely fill me up tonight. And if I make it again, it will definitely be a good weeknight filler meal. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you all have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys try out this recipe, and let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. Have a good girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.